Like I would, I was thinking maybe he should take him to Palutena's temple. It's very, very big, you know, like he's going to live a lot longer against Lucario's aura and everything, you know. That's that's where I theorize, you know, very big stage, doesn't want to, like, deal with the aura too much, you know, dying early, you know. I would definitely take him to Palutena's temple, but no, he's going to run it off to town and city instead. One of the smaller stages, lowest vertical blast zone out of all the legal stages, and I'm actually serious about that. But, uh... What the hell just happened? <laughs> you, you were not having... I was just... What is going you on? You were not having any of that. All I was thinking was, man, I hope they have more Final Fantasy VII songs in Ultimate. Uh, Devin, uh, fix the score. Um, uh, VV's up again. Stop the joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got we got VV sitting at 70%. I mean, that's going to be Lucario's like main shtick, right? Is Whenever Lucario gets hit, that aura builds, allows him to kill faster. Rage affects him so greatly in that manner. Mm -hmm. Yes, it I also carries into his second stock. Yes, I believe Aura maxes out at about 170, 175, something the like that. Higher than Rage, yeah. Yeah, it, it does last uh, higher than Rage. And it is stacked on top of Rage, which is what makes Lucario just the absolute fearsome beast that he always is. Just you're, In a sense, what I always say, like whenever people are fighting Lucario, you're just... It's like you're parking in New York because yeah. you're literally just feeding the meter over and over again. Oh, and the more you no. feed it, the longer you have to take care of it. You're just you're just putting more and more into it, and it's just going to wind up screwing you harder. And that's why Dill is trying to play extremely safe this way. Like, not only is Dill a careful player, he's going to be doing it, against, especially against uh, Lucario at this higher percent. Because they're both at death percent. That's what's scary right now. Yeah. It's e I consider this even. Yeah, and up throw up air uh, will definitely kill Dill at this percent. Or, or Vivi. Up throw up air will kill Vivi. It'll definitely time. kill Vivi because he just died to that. Mm -hmm. oh, good, good patience on that air dodge. Yeah. One of the biggest tricks of the trade when fighting Lucario is to kill him early if you can. And I always thought that was silly advice whenever somebody said it because, like, yeah, obviously I want to kill my opponent first. I want to kill him early. But against Lucario, if you're up a full stock and then he responds, at, <laughs> he respawns at zero percent with no rage, no aura or anything. I do believe he is literally the weakest character in the game in terms of damage. And if you're up a full stock in that position against Lucario, he really has a gigantic mountain to climb, a lot higher than like certain other characters would, if you can even argue that. Because you know, you know, the more you hit him, the more our damage uh, rage he has, but you know, if you can kill him early, that's fantastic. It looks like Dill is already finding his way to do that. Diddy Kong's neutral, hit Dill's neutral, too overpowering, just outmaneuvering him, outplaying, finding his way, and Vivi is still struggling to finish out this stock. I mean, Dill's using that, those great back airs that Diddy Kong employs by just like throwing him a lot out of shield, just forming this wall in front of Vivi. Vivi's just struggling to just find like this grab. because that's, that's pretty much what Lucario wants the majority of the time. He wants those grabs. Grabs lead into so much stuff. Allows him to like combo a lot, big damage. Right now, struggling off stage. Once he's the extreme speed, catches him on the stage. It's, it becomes a mix up. Where's he gonna go? On the stage, on the ledge. Lucario's not only have to think about mixing that up when they're making the way back, they also have to like, uh, they also have to do it in such a way that they don't get that special hard landing lag, you know? Much more complicated recovery than it really appears to be. There's a lot on the Lucario's mind when they think about yeah. it. And right there, you saw it. There it is. There's the hard landing lag. Didn't take that into account. Or maybe he did take it into account and he just couldn't find a way to really just land on the center stage and find his way back without suffering it's through that landing lag. It is very tricky, you know. But it is going to be his fall for that first game. First one going to Dill. And uh, he is looking very pretty getting rid of triplets. Now, what's interesting is I was talking with Vivi. I was conversing with them previously. He, uh, I was just mentioning. Actually, he wasn't even talking to Vivi. I was talking to someone else, and he was just overhearing. I was, I was talking to Mystery. I was like, Mystery, can you please just beat Dill? Can you please, for all things holy, can you just do it? And then uh, later on, Mystery lost. I'm like, well, Dill's going to win another tournament, I guess. And Vivi literally goes up to me, hey, I can beat him. I was like, cool, do it. So... You know what? It's still game two. Vivi could easily bring this back. I would love for that to come true. We have definitely seen Vivi fight back and come back from much more dire situations than this. And I want to reiterate, it's not that I don't, that I dislike Dill, right? Mm -hmm. I just think he takes too long for a set. No, I, th I honestly just, he wins too many tournaments lately and it's getting a little Bro. stale and I want someone else to win. No, dude, it's literally Aaron Paul, dude. He just, he can't keep getting away with it. He Dang. can't keep getting away he just, with it. He just did. He just, that was, ugh. I don't, feel, I don't feel good about that one. I, you know, he had to di digest that, you know? Dude, how do you think Vivi feels? He has to digest that. And he didn't even have time to because he died. Mm -hmm. And now he's already, like, overlapping him in percent of his second yeah. stock looking pretty okay. bleak here. But he's got the Aura Sphere. They can delete the Banana Peel. It's on the ground. Like, I think that's why he opted to go to Final Destination is because then there's no, like, there's no way for, like, a Banana to just chill on a platform to, like, mess up his timing. You're just throwing the projectile out, deleting the Banana Peel, getting it out of there. But it is just, oof. It's like I said, man, this is the absolute best 
possible position you can possibly be against uh, against Vi you're not there. Oh wow, and a, only a hundred percent on that forward smash right there. That was textbook. That was tragic. He got him with the banana and everything. Landed the forward smash. Killed Lucario early to make sure he didn't have too much rage. Wow.